attack the, the Congress. And we have a reaction coming in from C.R. Kesuban who says the Congress party in fact is trying to mislead the nation. And he's also asking uh, if K. Suresh is a eight-term MP, then uh, why is the Congress party not making him the leader of opposition? Listen, listen in. The crooked Congress party is deceitfully and dishonestly trying to mislead our nation and our, and our people on the issue of the proton speaker. Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and our BJP-led government have the highest regard for parampara and our parliamentary traditions. But the crooked Congress party has always cast away our conventions and norms for their personal convenience. And let me explain how. The Constitution is very clear on the election of the proton speaker. Article 95.1 states, in the absence of a speaker, the duties will be carried out by a deputy speaker. In the absence of a deputy speaker, a member of the House will be nominated by the Honorable Rashtrapati of India. When a new government is formed, the legislative section of Parliament sends a list of senior members of the Lok Sabha to the Minister of Parliamentary Affairs. And the Parliamentary Affairs Minister prepares a note and sends it to the Honorable Rashtrapati Ji. Then the Honorable Rashtrapati Ji nominates the pro-term speaker. This is what has happened now. And even in the first Lok Sabha when Mavlankar Ji was a speaker, we had three pro-term speakers. And we have had senior people like uh, Indrajit Gupta Ji, Somna Chatterjee as pro-term speakers. Now let's come to the issue which the Congress is falsely raising. Mahatab Ji has been nominated as the pro-term pro speaker. He is a seven-time MP. He has a continuous service of seven terms in the Lok Sabha. And they're talking about Sri Kodikunal Ji. Kodikunal Ji has only had four consecutive terms in the Lok Sabha. He had lost elections in 98 and 2004. So as the longest continuous serving member, Bhatru Hari Mahatab Ji has been nominated as the pro-term speaker in strict adherence to norms and conventions. Now, Look at what this crooked Congress did when they were in power. The UPA nominated Vikhe Patilji as pro-term speaker, ignoring, throwing away, destroying conventions when you had senior members with continuous service like Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji, Giridhar Gamang ji, you know, and George Fernandez ji at that time. And now the cunning Congress is also shedding crocodile tears about why the seniority of Kodi Kunal ji has not been respected. It is true. Pragya continues to be with us in the broadcast. That's a very interesting angle uh, that has been brought in by Mr. K. Suman and he's asking if he's such an experienced MP, why don't you make him the leader of opposition? You're absolutely right. And uh, in fact, CR Case 1 has uh, uh, his uh, sort of arguments regarding this. If you, uh, if you value your long-term MPs like this, why not make them the leader of opposition? And why have this elective outrage over pro tem speaker is what uh, the BJP is saying. And in fact, BJP is also gearing up for this protest by the opposition leaders. They are trying to ghirao the government. Uh, the Congress and opposition is really upbeat because they believe that they have uh, the number they have done pretty well uh, compared to the last time and they think that they can take the government on every issue they want. And this is exactly what BJP and the government has to face in the upcoming parliament session. And, you know, despite all the arguments given by the government why pro tem speaker has been made, uh, there is a rule in place uh, which was imitated from the UK Westminster system of uh, parliament. There is a rule in place that they have uh, taken into account that you should have uninterrupted longest service tenure in, uh, uh, in the parliament. And Bhatruhari Mehtab clearly passes that particular rule despite the, uh, the despite the arguments and despite Congress not been adhering to that rule in the past it seems that opposition is gearing up to take up this issue in the upcoming uh, session of the parliament right. and you know, also the government here is uninterrupted tenure K Suresh may be an eight term MP but he was not the MP 1998 and 2004 that's what the BJP is emphasizing thank you very much Pragya for getting us the details we're slipping into a short break news and updates for continuing